now welcome to Yendi Senior High School, where the 50th anniversary celebration will in earnest begin. Anniversary itself began way, way, way back, even in the run-up to the launch, way back in 2019. So with me is uh, the venerable Mr. Summertime Killer. He will throw more light, you know, on the various activities that came, you know, to mark the 50th anniversary celebrations of Yendi Senior High School. Yeah, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Hamdawi. Yeah, indeed, it is a privilege and opportunity uh, to feature me on this uh, all-important program. However, as you have said, and the uh, activities for planning leading to today's great uh, program started way back in 2019. Uh, 14 December to be precise, 2019, where the line for the 50th anniversary was done. And that is why uh, we have the Golden Jubilee celebration. However, it is celebrated in 2022 because of the outbreak of COVID. Uh, this program was supposed to have come somewhere in 2020, but uh, due to the outbreak of COVID, all activities of this nature were actually put off. And then it started. Uh, with a lot of activities that included a float in Accra that was followed with a similar float in Tamale and Yen. as well. That we did not end there. There were other activities like a symposium was organized, homecoming, and then career counseling was also organized for uh, the continuing students. Just have to put them in shape and for them to know the excellence of why they are in this institution. Uh, I'm Dr. Edris Tanko, a deputy registrar at UDS and an old student of the Yeni Senior School, popularly called the Royals. Uh, for today's session, we, we, we dubbed it a career career fair or career session where we talk to the students about the programs choice of programs that they need to uh, undertake in order to lead them to pursue certain courses at the tertiary level we also talk to them about the requirements for each course so that they can brace themselves they can work themselves in readiness for choosing those courses and we've also, uh, we've also made them aware that the first degree is basically it's a basic course now. And so they shouldn't feel shy of doing certain particular courses. Once they perform, they get a very good class, they can go ahead to do any, master, any course at the master's level. So basically we have been trying to encourage them, we have been trying to motivate them and to let them know that the, the beyond the sky is their limit. Send a strong signal. Then I wonder whether there is anything else that we can bring to send a strong signal for you. My name is Dr. Abdul Fatahi Abdullahi. I'm a lecturer at Tamale Technical University. I teach uh, entrepreneurship development uh, at the university. I'm an old student uh, of this school, I completed in 1991. And we are celebrating the 50th anniversary of the school. And we are here as old students to support in every direction to make sure we realize the success of the celebration. Today's career conference is nothing but a program that we have put in place to help the students be in a position to unlock their potential, to take up uh, the mantle of leadership and other responsibilities that uh, may come their way in future. We know what the school has given to us, and we are coming to give back to the school what we had. We have achieved a lot. A lot of us are in responsible position across the world. And this career conference is to expose the students to the potential that we have or the system out there has for them. They are here, they do not know what to do. 
we know what they can do to get what they want. Even before then, um, before Yeni Secondary School came into being, this facility or this very place was a place of learning. Remember, after the Second World War, the Northern Territories we had uh, what was known as the Native Authority Primary School, and it was in this same venue that was later transformed to Yeni Secondary School in 1970. And it has turned out a lot of professional, a lot of great men in all aspects of life of this country. You will find products of Yeni Secondary School occupying from politics, the academia, aviation, oil and gas uh, industry. I mean, you can talk of inter who have entrepreneurs who are doing well, and even on this ground, you have uh, Charles, who, are, who is now establishing his own company, dealing with local raw materials that he uses to pre uh, prepare food. And we've just been given a tale of it. He's a product of this great institution. We can't talk about worldwide. We have a lot of them in America, United Kingdom, Norway, Australia, because I know my one of my legends, he taught me, and now he's a professor in Australia. He teaches one of the universities in Australia. The current pro vice chancellor of the Tamil Technical University, Professor Abraham Abbas, also a product of this school. The, a host of them, Dr. Mike, uh, Dr. Mahmoud Mashaibo, now a lecturer at the University for Development State Communication School, also a product. This is the 50th anniversary celebration of Yendi Senior High School. And with me is Mr. Summertime. But what I would just like to add is, as part of the activities, there were also fun games, you know, volleyball that was organized was between the, you know, uh, old students, that's the Royals, and then the old students of Dagbon State. Then also the football match comprised of, you know, the match between the old students, the Royals, and the staff of Yendi Senior High School. I'll tell you the results of the, the, the games, yes, uh, in a short while. <laughs> The woman minister of the president of the republic, his excellency, the Nado Danko Kufado, and vice president, al Haji Dr. Mahamudu Baumia, we unveil this flag. Club. This main entrance was founded by the 1996 year group and unveiled by His Excellency Al Haji Dr. Mahmoudou Baumia, Vice President of the Republic of Ghana on the 28th May 2022. Commemoration of the 50th anniversary celebration of Yendi Senior High School. <laughs>
with this, sci scientists, just to mention a few. Today, the school can boast of some of our time, our time's great personalities. Notably, among them include Professor Engineer Abbas Bremer, first Vice Chancellor of Tamale Technical University, and the chairman for this occasion. Dr. Abu Sakara, Mr. Chairman, the Honorable Deputy Minister of Education, representing the Vice President of the Republic of Ghana, ladies and gentlemen, notwithstanding the achievements made by the school, over this long period of impacting knowledge and skills, we have faced a number of challenges that affect the school conversation of the school. Notably among them, notably among these include the urgent need to renovate and refurbish the different and poor equipped science laboratory center and laboratory. A laboratory. Provision of a pickup for the school. Provision of, uh, of our 20 unit with two story girls' dormitory and the 33 unit three story bachelor house dormitory below. Okay, so I wasn't expecting the solidarity message. However, Mr. Chairman, Honorable Regional Minister, my father, the Deputy Minister, my brother, Reverend Intim Pojo, Honorable Member of Parliament for Yendi, Alaji Aliu Farouk Mahama, and all invited distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I stand here as a proud daughter of Bam. Even though I may not be a royal of Yendi Secondary School, I think to some extent I'm a royal of that bank. And for that matter, I associate fully with Yendi Senior High Secondary. With the chairman, I wish to attend here that have worked closely with the authorities and other relevant bodies with the needed infrastructure, tools, materials that will promote the quality of education in Yendi, particularly Yendi Senior High. Yendi Senior Secondary School started with a clear vision of training Ghanaians to fit the usefulness in the society. After 15 years, this institution has lived up to the expectation of natives, authorities, politicians. Once again, let me offer you my warmest congratulations on the 50th anniversary. I wish you well and more success in years and decades ahead. Long live Yendi Secondary School, long live Ghana, and God bless us all. Mr. Chairman, as the Member of Parliament of the of Yendi, I must show this as an example, even though I made a request to the Vice President on the construction of an Islamic mosque for the school. And I want to, on behalf of myself and the good people of Yendi, to donate 10,000 Ghana cities and 50 pounds of cement for the construction of a new mosque for Yendi Secondary School. Thank you very much. And I have 50 sewing machines to be added to the home of each office for them to cross the students in their place. So it is a great pleasure to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the Yendi Senior High School with you today. I wish to congratulate management and staff of this school for inviting me as the guest speaker to this program. I am speaking on the theme quality education for national development, the role of Yendi Senior High School. Mr. Chairman, the theme is important for two main reasons. For one, the theme is relevant to UNDP's Sustainable Development Goal Number 4, which strongly advocates for all universal quality education. Secondly, the theme is so important because the discussions are taking place at a time when the country is just recovering from the doldrums of COVID-19 pandemic and at the same time unavoidably entering into a daunting global insecurity situation emanating largely 
from the Ukraine-Russian war. Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, what is quality secondary education? In my opinion, it's about having a comprehensive educational system that not only increases education accessibility, but also guarantees academic excellence and academic freedom, as well as producing students with critical and independent thought who are aware of their responsibilities to use their education for the general good of society. DF chapter leadership, we thank you so much. 1978 group, they will be better the Yana House just on part one. This is how I'll go. I'll mention the year group and mention their project. 1979 year group, they renovated the ICT block. 1980 year group, they provided 10,000 liter capacity quality tank and sports equipment to the school. 1981, provision of 40 pieces of photo cell street light bulb. 1982, Renovation of Ikuma House West Tampa 1. 1983, Renovation of Fall Long Block. 1984, Provision of two 8,000 liter capacity quality tanks. 1985, Renovation of German Block Classroom. 1986, Renovation of Home Economy Food Laboratory Building. 1989, renovation of the school library and provision of furniture in the library. 1990, renovation of one giant store building called Cambridge Block. 1991, renovation of Okuma House Boys Compound 2 and provision of sports equipment for the school. Mr. Chairman, the list is tall. I'll, I'll continue to mention them. 1992, renovation of Yanna House, just compound 2. 1993, 93 we have two badges, SS and O level. The SS badge, the renovated of Puma House, compound 3. While the O level badge renovated a sick day for the school. 1994, deleted 5,000 Ghana cities to the school to support the launch of the anniversary when it was done in 2019. Also provided ceiling funds for student more just yesterday. 1995, provision of sporting equipment and paraphernalia. 1996, construction of main entrance gate. The mother of all projects. 1998, they provided school directional map and located Yana House Compound 3. 1999, developed website to connect the school to the rest of the world. Now, to the Millennium Group. 2001, they needed a set of brass band music equipment. In the year 2019, the whole royal family came together to remove the assembly hall and provided 4,000 5, liter polytank. Mr. Chairman, the current students I will discuss at future royal are taking good lessons from us and they started demonstrating. In two, the 2021 year group, that is just last year, while the counterparts and various schools were vandalizing school property and destroying, they were contracting for our school. They reverted the old dining hall. We are so proud of them. I think that is not enough. The current final years, they are still in school. The current final years have, have uh, provided guests to level benches for the school. And we are we are told the
project is in Ghana of one of the assistant headmasters who will be retiring later this year. So that is a very good gesture. Mr. Chairman, the list of the projects we have done so far are 25. You are a major contribution in the academic history of the school. Your reward is both with government and in the heaven. I therefore wish to appeal to government to pay the Ghanaian teacher the deserved salary to cheerfully deliver the required knowledge to our children. I have been given the task of introducing our special guest of honor. He's the MP for Asinsa constituency in the central region. Was the second term MP on the ticket of the New Patriotic Party. He is the Deputy Minister for Education. I believe that is the reason why the Vice President finds him very qualified enough to stand in his stead. The warm compliments of the Vice President of the Republic, His Excellency, Al Haji Dr. Mahamudu Baumia. Indeed, he would have loved to be here in person to grace the occasion of the 50th anniversary of the ND Secondary School, but is, however, unable to do so due to circumstances beyond his control and has delegated me to deliver the speech on his behalf. I do further convey to you the congratulations message of the Honorable Minister for Education, Dr. Yao Ose Edutu, who also shares in this Golden Jubilee celebration. Indeed, it is an honor to be among royals, the royals of Yendi Secondary School, on this momentous occasion, very historic occasion, celebrating 50 years of excellence, Golden Jubilee of dedicated holistic education, having provided mentoring, grooming, and being a home for the past 50 years to some brilliant boys and girls, having given them the opportunity to quality education and raised them to serve in notable ways in this country. People who have served in the past and others who continue to serve in very great ways even at present. That is no surprise at all, considering your motto which says that we learn to serve. Indeed, you have taught your products to serve, and they shine wherever they go, beyond the beautiful walls of the Dumbang Kingdom, wherever they've been within this country and beyond the shores of this country, they have made you proud and continue to make you proud. On behalf of the President
organizations in his honor. The next I will be For the good work you have always done for the development of Gendi Senior High School. Congratulations. Yes, you know. Congratulations. Thank you so much, Ajia. Master Musa Imoro. 2021. <laughs> We are very grateful to all members of Parliament, MMDC, and to political party functionaries who have taken time off their busy schedule to be with us. My name is Mutar Guru, the national president of the Royals. Indeed, I am the global president due to our global presence. Today marks the 50th anniversary that we are celebrating, and uh, Royals all over the world have traveled down. So today is a reunion, it's a celebration of life. And we are celebrating the anniversary under the team Quality Secondary Education for National Development, the role of Yendi Senior High. Yendi Senior High has various stakeholders, and Royals are one of the major stakeholders. And indeed, we have been playing our role in realizing this quality education long ago. Royals have contributed a lot. We have massive support from all Royals all over the world. When you take a case walk around the campus, you see, we now have a brand new campus with more than 90% of all the infrastructures have been renovated. We have constructed a brand new entrance gate. And everyone in the school, the students, the teachers, the non-teaching staff, everyone is so happy. All the royals who have touched down are so excited to see the work we have done collectively. And we are so happy and eager to do more. Um, my name is um, Hajia Azara Abukari Harun. You can see that we have a lot of people around us. We are the 78th group. So you see that it's 45 years ago since we left. Indeed, today is a remarkable day. We are very happy to be here. We are here to reflect over our lives and it is only Allah who has done it for us. Indeed, we are proud of being Yes, and yes, and yes. <laughs> hip, hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip, hip. Hooray! Uh, they say when you hear that a house has fallen, you don't ask whether the roof is fixed. Yeah. I, I, I am overwhelmed. Uh, especially in the midst of my contemporaries and colleagues. 44 years back, we left this school and I can tell you that was the most important and most formative stage of our lives. And for those of us who, who saw what Yendi Secondary School was and what it has meant for us, it is forever embedded in our lives. And we are eternally grateful for uh, uh, what we went through. I want to acknowledge beautiful ladies, uh, some of them 44 years ago, look at how they are still looking, they are looking fresh. It's, it's a, a good homecoming. Uh, our commitment to the development of this school is beyond doubt. And I'm sure as there's an eloquent testimony to, to, to say for the record. Uh, Yendi Sina High School has contributed significantly to the human uh, resource development of this country. I'm sure you have been listening to the speeches, uh, the very important personalities you have mentioned, including Alaji Mustafa Ali, who is who's passed on. We have big people in the military. We have some in academia, we also have some in the Ghana Health Service and all that. Almost all sectors of the, the, uh, the country, we have the people there. And I think that uh, you cannot mention 
important senior high schools in Ghana without mentioning Yendi Secondary School. Um, I am Abdul Fatah Al Hassan, um, a proud royal and um, the senior prefect for the 2004 year group. Um, currently, um, Yendi Senior High School, as we all know, is observing its 50th anniversary. And the theme for the celebration, as we are always informed, or as we rightly know, is um, quality secondary education for national development, the rule of Yendi Senior High School. Indeed, one may ask whether um, Yendi Senior High School as an institution has made any contribution whatsoever towards the provision of quality education. In fact, that is never in doubt. Um, the school, as we speak today, is 52 years. It was 50 years two years ago, but due to the COVID pandemic, we couldn't celebrate it. Um, 50 years in any institution's life is no mean an achievement. Mommy!